This is happening so quick, I might not even have to speed things up. In this video, I'm going to dry pour some concrete by adding some concrete mix, which is cement and sand and gravel. We're going to look into the dry pour process and literally look into it by misting it and watching it with your own eyes harden up and moisten up all by itself, believe it or not, without stirring, without worrying. So let's just get to it. I'm going to scoop some more of this out and just keep filling up this bowl. And I'm touching this and I'm moving it around and people are freaking out and they're asking me if uh, my skin has been burnt and if you know I've had all these issues breathing um, I have not had any issues no burning no breathing issues now I am outside I do wash my hands off just as soon as I kind of get done um, I do not do this for a living I'm not doing this every day this is mostly an experiment and from what I gather, there's overwhelming evidence that it's not a great idea to be coming into direct contact with this. So let's keep that to a minimum. I'm just making a short video. Everybody relax. Okay, <clears throat> so this is basically what people are doing on the internet here on YouTube. I keep looking up here because I have a monitor to see what you're seeing, so I'll try to make this a little more personal. I've poured about four different sections. I've made videos about a couple of those sections. I've driven a <laughs> 14,000 pound, well, my neighbor Tony, an electrician, drove his work truck, a 14,000 pound F-350 Ford, dually king cab, you know, right up here on the slab, showing people um, that it's fine and it was only cured for 48 hours. So you can watch all that. Um, but what you haven't seen is how this actually works. You see videos, you see me, you see others putting uh, basically concrete mix straight out of the bag from uh, in my case, it was Home Depot, probably five or six dollars a bag, five fifty a bag maybe. And you saw us put it in a form, and you saw us um, for you know one method or another get it nice and flat. You can see how easy that is. Ah, it's not really difficult to get a nice finish. Um, and then people take, um, you know, a little bit extra and put in, put in the little spots and yada, yada, yada. You can take paint rollers over top of it. You can tamp it. You can do this back and forth motion, which is very, very, very effective. So let's just call it, let's call it beautiful right there. This is where the show happens right here, okay? We're going to mist it. And I do have a camera right there, so you're gonna see this is not a lot of water. See me up here? <laughs> All right. Oh man, the old laptop is getting drenched. So as you can see, that surface still looks fantastic. So it's been a minute or two, and you can see it's starting to absorb. And I'm just gonna pull this away, and I'm gonna continue to moisten it. There it goes. There it goes goes down pretty quick. And you can see, it 
it's already ready for some more water. You can see it just going right into those dry spots instantly. And I suppose I could wait a half an hour in between watering, but I'm not really sure why. You'll know when it's done taking water, when it's done taking water, you know, when it stops drying so quickly, you'll know it's not thirsty anymore. You can see this is happening pretty fast, guys. I mean, literally less than 10 minutes since I started this. Because I'm too anxious to really let it set for too long. Now, I'm pretty sure this is much harder than you think already in just a couple of minutes. So it kind of hardens very quickly. And the water is going down just as quick as we add it. So let's keep adding. It's moving right along. This is happening so quick, I might not even have to speed things up. I tried to set up the time lapse, but it's happening too fast to capture on time lapse, is the truth. Did I mention that I did not try this beforehand? We're learning and doing all of this together in real time for the first time for me. The cool thing about this is just how hard it is. Um, can you hear that? I'm doing this on purpose. Create like a finish, like a pebble walkway type finish. I like. It's got some texture, it's nice and flat. And it's done. Just like that, under an hour. Dry pour concrete slab. For you to see with your own two eyes what happens underground and how it gets all mixed up, we'll find out next week how hard it is. So let the comments begin. <laughs>